The industry that I chose to do was cinematography, and cinematography is really just the the art of making motion films. So it, it mainly deals with TV and movies. And uh, a survey shows that the average American went to the movies five times last year, and so it really just shows like how often we go to the movies and like how how much of an influence that they can have on our lives. And especially around here, going to the movies is a very common thing because there's really not much to do around Lynchburg. And so that's kind of the go-to thing when you're with your friends is to go to the movies. And I'm not saying don't go to the movies, but I think that we should be more cautious about what we keep putting into and investing our, our money and our, also our uh, minds into. Um, the film industry is a billion dollar industry. It has a lot of power and I'm blessed to be able to contribute to an a industry that's really uh, very secular and there's not really much, uh, Jesus really isn't prevalent in the film industry. And so I'm blessed to have the opportunity to contribute and uh, to glorify God through the film industry. Uh, over the next couple minutes, I'll be talking about the steady moral decline in America the, also the influence of how uh, big the film industry is and how much uh, money the film industry brings in. And then lastly, I'll be talking about how um, I have an opportunity to help uh, shine the light of Christ to the film industry, um, help to expose them to the attributes of Christ and the attributes of Christianity. And so my first point, like I said, would be the steady moral decline uh, of America. Um, now, 30% uh, of all internet activity activity is uh, conducted through adult entertainment websites. Um, we also have uh, now killed over 56 million babies through abortion. Um, and lastly, 56% of all the movies that have been uh, produced over the last 15 years have all been uh, R-rated R movies, so over half the movies that are being produced are now rated R. <clears throat> My second point, like I said before, talks about how much power the film industry has and how much influence it has and how much money it brings in. The film industry brings in $286.17 uh, billion each year, and over 1.2 million tickets are sold uh, in the U.S. and both in the U.S. and Canada each year. And lastly, America now has over 40,000 uh, movie screens throughout America, so pretty much in every corner of America, films are affecting uh, all ages from kids to adults. And uh, the last point that I want to make, which is the main point, is how I have the opportunity to really show the uh, show an industry that desperately needs Christ, what Christ is all about, through the movies that I make. And I kind of limited it to three... Uh, three things to focus on uh, that the film industry really struggles with, which is uh, sexual purity. Um, and I have a verse to kind of support that point, which is 1 Corinthians 6, 18. It says, flee from sexual immorality. Every other, uh, every, every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexual, uh, sexually immoral person sins against his own body. And then I have another verse, 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 5, it says, for this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual morality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of just, <clears throat> not in the passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God. And it really shows that uh, we, as Christians, we should be separate on this point. Uh, we should be uh, separated and different and be an example to the people who don't know Christ, to our uh, have fallen to sexual immorality. And the second point that I made was that God values self-control. And Galatians 5, 22 through 23 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against these things, there is no law. <clears throat> and the final sub point I wanted to make on this point is God values humility. Um, Luke 22 through uh, Luke 22 27 says for who is greater one who reclines at the table or one who serves is it not the one who reclines at the table but I am among you as the one who serves and it just uh, a lot of times in the movie industry 
It's all about humanity and kind of trying to elevate the power of humans instead of focusing on God and uh, what God is about. So that's why I made that point. And in conclusion, I know it seems like because this film industry is so big and how many people watch it, watch it and how, uh, how many people it reaches that it's very hard for me to make an actual impact in the film industry. It seems like it's a daunting task, but since we're all sophomores in college and you know, we, we've all passed English 101, so we've already done the impossible. <laughs>